Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Thursday, June 6, 2024, the Memorial of St. Norbert. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who made the Bishop St. Norbert a servant of your Church, outstanding in his prayer and pastoral zeal. Grant, we ask, that by the help of his intercession, the flock of the faithful may always find shepherds after your own heart and be fed in the pastures of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, a scribe approaches Jesus and asks him which commandment is the greatest. And Jesus responds by summarizing the entire law with two fundamental commandments, to love God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, these two commandments encapsulate the essence of our faith and call us to live out a love that is all-encompassing and transformative. We know that loving God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength is no easy task. Christianity demands not only a strong will, but perseverance. It might seem to some that spending time in daily prayer or dedicating moments to worship is a waste of time. Yet, as Christians, we know that giving the first fruits of our day to the Lord is the best investment that we can make, and it sets the tone for the entire day. It's like spiritual calisthenics that strengthen our soul. And it requires practice. It requires a loving and determined heart that is committed to putting God at the center of your life. Now, the second commandment to love our neighbor as ourselves challenges us to extend this love to other people. We naturally know what makes us happy, how we enjoy spending our free time, and what makes us feel better. But do we know these things about our neighbors, those people who are our family members or our friends? Studies show that fewer than half of adult Americans actually know most or all of their neighbors. As followers of Christ, we're called to change this. And we start by getting to know the names of the people in our neighborhood and taking an interest in their lives. By doing so, we can build stronger Christian communities that reflect the glory of God and offer support to one another. Can you imagine in today's gospel hearing Jesus say, You are not far from the kingdom of God. Wouldn't that just give you the greatest feeling in the world? This was the affirmation that was given to the scribe who approached Jesus with a sincere question. And the scribe not only knew the commandments, but also responded to Jesus with wisdom and understanding. This was a gift that Jesus acknowledged. When we strive to know our faith deeply and listen attentively to Jesus in prayer through the sacraments and in our daily experiences, we can also be blessed with wisdom from the Holy Spirit. 
this wisdom draws us closer to the kingdom of God. Jesus' response to the scribe teaches us that the essence of the commandments is love. Love for God and love for others. And these aren't just feelings, but they're active, lived-out commitments. By prioritizing our relationship with God and extending our love to our neighbors, we align ourselves with the heart of Jesus' teachings. And so today, let's pray and reflect on how we can love God more fully in our daily lives and show genuine love and care for our neighbors. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.